or give a present to your newborn ones. Our today's tutorial are mind-blowing in newborn set series. Hi Sirst, this is Momo and you are watching Momo Beginner and Sewing. Today we are going to make a beautiful baby bib and this is the measurement that we are going to use. You can also find measurements in description as well. If I do any fumble, please avoid that and just follow the steps of the bibs. That was the height of along 7 inch and width 3.5 inch and the neck deepness is around 3.5 inch. I'm just going I'm just giving you a rough estimate because the proper measurement is going to be fine in the description as well. I'm just cutting it. If you are found of pattern then you can download it from craftsy.com as well because I'm going to available in in few days on craftsy as well. If you didn't find it, just tell me on dresscuff.com. So I have removed my pin and pattern as well and this is the fabric which we are going to sew. As you can see, this is the red gingham fabric which is very much going to resemblance for Christmas kind of thing because Christmas even coming and everyone is in spread of that. Now. I'm working on my sewing machine with lace and this is lace and this lace is called eyelet lace which is made up of pure cotton fabric. I didn't find any link for purchasing or buying it but I soon will going to be given it in the description box or comment box as well. So you can buy this in very easily with Amazon.com. I'm definitely sure that you can find it in your local garment store as well. But if you didn't find it, let me know. I will make a Amazon link for you guys, and you can I will find the Amazon link for you guys, and you can buy it from here for the US persons the US users you can do it as well. you can buy it for sure for there from there what I'm doing over here I'm just giving uh, gathers on one side of a lace if you are a new beginner Swiss person then I don't think so you are very much comfortable with the eyelid lace you must need to um, use a tape lace which is very much easy to sew along with the machine machine boot part now what i'm going to do i'm just going to seam it on the edges of the bibs i'm just uh, taking a measurement uh, you also you can also do this by your own just take the measurement just take the just make the lace around your whip and just measure it yourself there is no hard and fast rule I've always said that the sewing is something that we do with our hearts and what we do with our heart is uh, so much of custom thing so there is no hardcore rule over here there is no rule that heart would follow so just go with flow okay I'm just seaming eyelet lace which I have just gathered and uh, I have interfacing I've just seaming it along with the edges as you can see I'm going to revert it back so it will give a very nice and cute look this is a very easy baby bib. As you can see, our bonnet is very much popular nowadays on a YouTube and as well Craftsy.com. It has some huge, huge sales over there. If you want it, let me know. 
I'm going to link it in the description as well or you just go to the dresscuff.com and you will find the link of it. Or I'm going to add it in my YouTube channel art. You can find it from it as there as well. Let me know guys what you want to see you or you request your suggestions or patterns or grading anything that you want to learn let us know so we can make a tutorial according to it okay my first part of list and uh, lace seam with the um, along with the edges of the baby bib is almost going to done I'm just finishing it up the thing as you can see it is interfacing the front side of the bib now what I'm going to do I am just this is the most tricky part of the bib please see it very carefully as you can see I am interface I just revert my second piece of bib on the first piece this is called under stitch and uh, on momo sewing on momo beginner sewing this under stitch is something that is very much popular because personally i uh, i love it so just follow the steps and you will got a something a very nice and cozy bib uh, i didn't tell you that that this is a pure cotton fabric in gingham print and red and white is chosen because of Christmas celebration is near to us so everyone in Christmas is pretty slow as I am I have I'm just sewing the edges and uh, in other words I'm just doing under stitch and afterward I'm going to revert it but you can follow the step maybe the saying is saying is better than viewing oh viewing better than the saying sorry for that okay and uh, now uh, the same part I'm repeating that, that uh, I'm making the notches as you have seen in my all videos that I under after doing the under stitch I have made the not notches and I've done it here as well and reverting my fabric so the most interesting thing that the our eyelid lays is now in between the both front and back piece under stitch sewing is not just under stitch sewing it's also can it, it also be said as a magical sewing in my point of view of course no one need to be obey me because there is no rules you can also set your own rules okay what I'm going here I'm just doing my under stitch final seam which which make the fabric more pressed feeling or it doesn't do some wavy kind of thing it doesn't come up like a wavy kind of thing so I'm just doing that and after doing it we just finish thing up as you can see my vintage machine makes some time problem for me so if you guys just seen that that uh, my machine is uh, making subtract fumble so don't bother with it please bear with it okay this is the main part we have done with the bib now the main knot part that uh, we are making the we have taken a two inch wide bias tape and along uh, around it going to be 15 inch in width because this is going to be cover from one end to other end I'm just making a single seam by making four. This is the part that I'm 
I used to do. I have just uh, I've just placed place the bib neck end on the bias between the bias tip and just seaming it because uh, this is the best part if uh, you are new beginner I suggest that make the um, bias tape as I have taught you guys in my previous lesson which is for dummies uh, in this way you can do it very properly and uh, even you are not making the whole bias tape bunch just make it press press and at least because that make a corner edge which is very going and which is very much easy to use I'm just completing the my bias tape along with the neckline this is a hold the neckline we have started from the one end of neckline and uh, going to end with the second uh, uh, second neckline end oh my god that's too much fumbleness today We are just complete. We are just about to complete the neckline part, and then we just go straight to the bias tape end. Bias tape end should be flexible around the neck of your kid, because otherwise it's going to be tight. So make the rough estimated of each end should have a seven seven inches long. So easily it will going to bind along your kid neck. all the things which are used in the baby bib it is purely co organic cotton and uh, i prefer that you will, you should use this as well i didn't use any foaming in between the under stitch part which is sometimes used in a bib because this is a very much casual bib and uh, it is for a daily use not for the casual, for for the formal one so it doesn't need any plastic or any foam kind of material okay this is the done part i am just sharpening the edges of the bias tape and now what i am going to make i am making the strap end more beautiful and i am just making uh, some small kind of flowers kind of thing or you can say edge cutter or whatever you want to say i didn't know the exact vocabulary for it if you have any vocabulary for it let me know in the comment section below so i knew because so i got to know about it we guys are here to contribute in sewing industry and in sewing tutorials so share your tutorials as well here so other guys are going to watch it or not tutorials or if you are not a sewer or not making any sewing materials or something like that you can contribute or you can uh, let us know the request section that you want to know this and that i have just make a small circle half diameter half diameter circle over here and just folding it again to so it become a quarter circle and just doing a single seam on the end and with the, with the bias tape that means bias tape our diameter our quarter diameter quarter half circle and just a single under stitch so this is the baby bib hope you guys like it If you guys like it please like us comment us and follow us thank you